The field of investigative genetic genealogy really grew out of traditional genetic genealogy. Initially, that field was focused on people finding their relatives, and one of the elements of that involved people who were looking for their birth parents, if they were adoptees, or if they discovered later in life that one of their parents was not the parent they thought. Out of that field grew investigative genetic genealogy when a few pioneers, really a handful of pioneering women, realized that this approach could be applied to law enforcement cases and cases of unidentified human remains. My vision for starting the IgG Center was to help bring IgG to more cases of wrongful conviction. My background prior to coming to Ramapo was working as a wrongful conviction attorney, and I wanted to see this new methodology providing justice in those cases, as well as helping to lock up the correct person. So we have three missions. The first is to provide expert IgG education. The second is to provide pro bono IgG casework. And the third is to provide imaginative research. And really the focus there is expanding the use of IgG in new domains. The Investigative Genetic Genealogy Center at Ramapo College is where we perform casework, education, and research in the field of investigative genetic genealogy. So our students in the IgG Center get to work on real cases and apply their learning in IgG to actual unsolved homicide cases and unidentified human remains. The IgG certificate program at Ramapo College is a 15-week online program where students, mostly adult learners, learn how to apply IgG skills to real cases. So the first 10 weeks of the program is online learning, it's two classes a week, and then the last five weeks of instruction is applied learning on a real, unsolved, unidentified human remains case. So our students that have just learned how to perform IgG in class are now going to use those skills on a real case, and they've solved already a dozen cases. When you are a student here in their certificate program, you are working on real cases. These are not cases that have been pre-solved for you. This is the students coming in and taking all of the pieces, all of the steps that Karen and David have put together and planned for them and taught them and working an actual case. Our students come in with a broad range of experience. Some of them have never even looked at ancestry DNA or ancestry trees before, and others have been in genetics or in the lab or in law enforcement. So the certificate program allows all of these students with these broad experiences to learn from each other and to take those pieces and work on these cases together as a team. Most of our students come from a variety of different backgrounds. So we have attorneys, law enforcement agents, medical examiners, forensic scientists, and those make up probably about one third of the class. Then we also have hobby genealogists, retirees, stay-at-home moms, a lot of people that are taking the class just to get another credential under their belt. And all of these great team members come together to make the best teams and solve dozens of cases. As far as student outcomes, we expect them to be able to understand the process, what the steps are in the process, and to be able to use that to walk through a case and develop a lead that then we are giving back to our law enforcement partners. The volunteer work that is done at Ramapo College is extensive and it is critical to what we do at Ramapo College. Last year alone, just last year, between our students, the boot camp participants, and our alumni, over 13,000 hours of volunteer work was conducted at Ramapo. And that ties in perfectly to why Ramapo is able to provide our services free of charge to law enforcement and to medical examiners. We wouldn't be able to do that without our dedicated and hardworking volunteers. One of the unique aspects about the Ramapo College IgG Center is that we offer pro bono casework for law enforcement agencies. And this is imperative because right now agencies are underfunded a lot of the time, especially when it comes to unidentified human remains. If it's not a murder victim, then they can't get that funding. So at the IgG Center, we we're able to provide that funding for law enforcement and we cover all the lab costs. We help usher it from the law enforcement agency to the lab itself. The lab will do the work and then they'll provide us a SNP profile. And then from there, we upload it and we'll do the genealogy. And the genealogy is also pro bono because we have our current staff working on it. And then we also have our volunteers that come back to work on cases with us. And this fills a real need throughout this country for law enforcement agencies who don't have the funds to pay for these cases. They might have really important cases that have been sitting on the books for years, decades sometimes, and we're able to step in and provide the funding to do the necessary testing 
that's required before we start IgG, and then we put in the hours of IgG entirely for free. Most of the cases that we have provided resolutions for were conducted at least in part by our students in the certificate program or the boot camp. So not only are they gaining a top-notch education that allows them to go out and do this kind of work on their own, but they're providing answers for families, providing justice for victims through that education. IgG is a relatively new field and we've only seen it used on cold cases in the United States, Canada, and Australia so far. However, we're pushing for it to be used across new territories. While the field of investigative genetic genealogy faces many challenges, our efforts, including 200 students that we have trained so far and put out into the world to help solve cases, are working to ensure that the field remains viable and able to provide justice now and in the future.